In this video, I'm going to show you how to come up with unlimited video ideas for your YouTube channel. As you might know, I run multiple different YouTube channels and the only work that I do for those channels is coming up with video ideas, managing freelancers, and uploading and optimizing the finished videos. So coming up with video ideas is an incredibly important part of the YouTube video creation process due to the fact that if you make videos on the wrong subjects, you're not gonna get as many views as you otherwise could. So how do you make sure that you find the right video ideas for your YouTube channel? Well, I have this checklist right here that I'm gonna be giving you and sharing with you in this video on exactly what I run through when I'm trying to come up with video ideas for my channels. It's 12 different places to get video ideas from. And without further ado, let's get into place number one, which is YouTube search. And in order to find the right video ideas from YouTube search, what I recommend doing is making a list of input phrases that are related to your niche. So let's say for example that your niche is cryptocurrency videos. So what I would personally do is make a list of different cryptocurrency terms that relate to your channel. For example, Bitcoin, Ethereum, cryptocurrency, crypto news, and everything related to cryptocurrency. And then I would start plugging these terms directly into YouTube search. So let me give you an example of how this would work. So you go to YouTube search right here and you start plugging in terms like crypto and then you hit space and then see all of the different results that pop up right here. For example, crypto mining could be a potential video idea right there. And then you can do all the different variations of the different input phrases that you put in here. For example, cryptocurrency for beginners, cryptocurrency explained, cryptocurrency investing. These are all potential video ideas. Now you might be saying, Matt, what specifically should I say in these videos and how should I make them good? So what I recommend doing here is going back to your input phrases, clicking on any of these, for example, cryptocurrency explained, and then seeing all of the different videos that pop up right here, great videos to model for your particular channel. Place number two to check is vidIQ keyword research. So if you're unfamiliar, vidIQ is a tool that I personally use to help me with running all of my different YouTube channels, and it does cost money. However, you can get any plan with vidIQ for completely free for an entire month by using the code MAPPAR at checkout. That being said, let's jump into vidIQ right here so I can show you exactly how this works. Upon logging into vidIQ, all you have to do is go to this keyword section right here at the top and then put in those same exact list of different input phrases that we did in the first step with YouTube search. For example, cryptocurrency right here hit search, and then you're gonna get so many amazing video ideas through each of these different sections. Let me walk you through them real quick. Number one is the related keyword section. You can go right here and you can always click this to expand it. See tons of different video ideas that you could potentially do. You can search these on YouTube to get even more video ideas as well using what I showed you in step number one. Or you can go back to the overview here and you can see questions that people frequently have. For example, what is cryptocurrency? How to invest, how to buy? and so on, and you can make videos on each of these topics, and same with the matching terms and so forth. So all of these different places right here within the vidIQ keyword research can be an incredible way to get tons of video ideas. And also with vidIQ results, it's important to make sure that you choose keywords that actually have a good chance of performing well, and let me show you how to do that. So if you go to the results that vidIQ gives you in any of their keyword planner sections, you're gonna see a couple different columns right here, such as the search volume, the competition on a scale of low, medium, high, and then also the overall score of the keywords. Now you might be asking, Matt, what do any of these mean? Well, to make this simple, in order to find the best keywords, what I typically do is simply look at the overall score due to the fact that that automatically weighs the competition against the search volume to find you high search volume keywords that have a low amount of competition. So the higher the overall score, the better. And let me show you an example of this. For example, we can click overall score to sort this by the highest overall score keywords to the lowest. The highest right here being Bitcoin with 11 million searches per month and a low amount of competition. And remember this competition is relative to how much search that this particular keyword is getting. So it's getting so many searches that even though there's a ton of videos on Bitcoin, relative to that, it's very low. So for that reason, it's got a 91 overall score. So videos about Bitcoin would be a great idea. Also, all of these other coins right here could be great video ideas to make videos on. And then what you can also do is click on any of these to pull up even more related keywords and go down this infinite rabbit hole of getting unlimited video ideas. I promise you that if you implement this process, go through each of these different steps, you are going to get video ideas for your channel. So whenever you're stumped and trying to think of video ideas, feel free to come back to this video to see this exact process so that you never run out of video 
video ideas. Place number three to get video ideas is the Google Keyword Planner. So the Google Keyword Planner is a completely free tool that you can use to get tons of video ideas for your channel. And the way it works is that you sign up for a Google Ads account and don't worry, you don't have to know how to run ads or anything. You simply sign up for a Google Ads account and you can do so using the Gmail address that you already have with the Google account. And then from there, you can access this amazing tool called the Google Keyword Planner, which pulls data from Google searches across the web to show you what people are searching for and how often that they're doing so and the amount of competition for these different phrases. So here's exactly how to use it. This is the Google Keyword Planner, and in order to use this, you simply click this button, Discover New Keywords. And from here, what I recommend doing is putting in your different input phrases that we use from the first couple steps that I showed you. For example, we're gonna put in cryptocurrency, and remember to put whatever relates to your specific niche. Also crypto, then Bitcoin, Ethereum, and so on, and feel free to do as many as you want. For locations, I recommend just selecting all locations unless you're trying to target a very specific location and then simply clicking get results. This is going to show you tons of different Google searches of what people are searching for across the web for video ideas. And as you can see, it provides you a couple statistics which can be very helpful. For example, it shows you the average monthly searches for each of these terms, the three month change showing if it's either decreasing in search volume or increasing, the year on year change and the amount of competition weighed on a low, medium to high scale. So the way that this works is that you go in here and what I would recommend doing in order to find the best keywords to make videos on is first off sorting it by the highest average monthly searches right here and then going down this list to see what people are searching for a ton to make video ideas on and then also keeping an eye on this column right here of the competition and obviously the lower the better in terms of competition. Place number four is another completely free tool called Ubersuggest. Now, if you go to the Ubersuggest website right here, it works the same way as the Google Keyword Planner in vidIQ. You simply put in a term, for example, crypto right here, click enter, and then you can select the location that you're trying to target in the language. And then it's going to show you a bunch of different related keywords under these keyword ideas right here. And the goal again is to get high search volume and a low amount of SD, which stands for SEO difficulty and the lower the better. So for example, this keyword right here, crypto miner, due to the fact that it's lower than a lot of these right here, could be a great video idea for this specific niche. Place number five is the TubeBuddy Keyword Explorer. TubeBuddy is another really cool tool that you can use to get tons of video ideas and here's the way that it works. So once you sign up for TubeBuddy, and I'll put a link below if you wanna sign up and get the best deal possible, but once you sign up, then you can simply go to your YouTube channel and then add the TubeBuddy extension that will put this button on all of your YouTube pages. From here, you're going to go down to the Keyword Explorer tool. And upon hitting this, then you can input keywords, for example, crypto, hit enter, and then it's going to show you this specific keyword, how much search volume it has, and the competition weighted relative to that keyword. And it'll even pull some Google Trends data right here to show you interest in this topic over time, to show you if this is just a trend that's kind of died out already, or if this is something with very consistent demand and interest in. And then in order to get tons of video ideas, all you have to do is go down to this related searches box, and then it, it gives you all of these different ideas right here. For example, cryptocurrency for beginners. You can click this and you can see what the score for this particular search query is. And then you could use these for video ideas. And also you can go to the video topic section and it'll show you exactly how to incorporate this keyword into a variety of different titles. For example, how to invest for beginners, how to buy for beginners, and so on. Place number six is a really cool website called Answer the Public. And I would recommend using this website if you primarily make how-to videos or videos answering very specific questions, educational-based videos per se, due to the fact that it's going to show you a bunch of different ideas for answering common questions related to a given query. So let me show you an example of how this completely free website works. So if you go to answerthepublic.com and you put in a keyword, for example, cryptocurrency right here, and then you can select the country that you're in. For example, I'm in the United States, so I'm gonna select that and then English, and then simply hit search. From here, if we scroll down, it's going to give us a bunch of different ideas for answering common questions that people have related to this search query cryptocurrency. And as you can see, it displays it in a really cool graph right here. And it starts with the most common words that questions start with. For example, will, why, who, which, when, where, how, are, what, and can. For example, if we look at the will category right here, we have searches such as will cryptocurrency crash, 
will cryptocurrency go back up? And then under the why, we have why cryptocurrency is the future. Under the who, we have who invented cryptocurrency and so on for all of these different queries. And if we scroll down, we can actually get the data as well of all of these. So you can see tons of different video ideas. You can also take these, plug these into vidIQ, make sure they're getting a good amount of search volume on YouTube directly. And this is an amazing way to get tons of video ideas, especially if you're going to be doing an education-based channel. Place number seven is vidIQ Daily Ideas. vidIQ has a specific section on their website that gives you daily video ideas for your channel, and here's how it works. Once you log into the vidIQ application on your computer, what you can simply do is go to the top and select Daily Ideas right here. From here, you're gonna see a ton of different video ideas and then your view prediction that vidIQ gives you. Now I'm gonna be completely honest, not every idea is absolutely amazing, but this can be a great way to at least spark some ideas off in your head and then search these, make sure that other people are making videos that are working on these specific ideas. And it can be a great way to at least start getting some ideas for your channel. And then you can simply go through here and heart and save any of these ideas that you like and then dismiss the ones you don't like and vidIQ will get better over time to find you the best topics best suited for your channel. Place number eight is your past videos. So what I always like to do at least once a month on most of my channels is go through the most popular videos on those specific channels and then ask myself, can I make a part two or a part three or can I remake this video in a new way? And let me show you an example of this in action. For example, if we go to my personal channel right here, sort my videos by the most popular, as you can see, the top video is how to make money on YouTube without making videos. It would be a great idea for me to make a part two of this video, part three and so on, further explain the steps for doing this. And also what I could do is remake this video in a new way with the, all the best, most updated information to make it as good as it possibly can. And there's a whole new video right there. Place number nine is other top YouTube channels within your niche. So what I recommend doing is after going through all of these different processes, you're probably gonna see a lot of the same channels repeating that are making the top videos in these specific niches. And here's how to use them to your advantage. So for example, if you're in the cryptocurrency niche and you go to any of these top crypto channels like Crypto R Us right here, you can first of all see some of the trending videos that they're making videos on lately. And you can also go to their most popular videos, see what they're making videos on. And what's really cool is that if you have the vidIQ extension, what you can do is go on over to this tab that will be added onto every channel on YouTube and it's called the trending tab. And this is gonna actually show you the videos of theirs that are getting the highest views per hour and when they were uploaded, how many views they have, and so forth. Now here's how I would recommend using this tool. I would find videos that have been uploaded a while ago that are still getting a very high views per hour. For example, this video right here, Bitcoin 101, everything you need to know about crypto, which was uploaded a year ago, yet still getting 20 views per hour. So those are kind of the videos to look out for, for evergreen videos that are doing well over time and still getting a ton of views now, even though they were uploaded potentially a long time ago. And every time you find a big channel within your niche, I would recommend keeping a list on a Google document of all the top channels that you find so you can always refer back to that list when you're trying to come up with new ideas for your channel. Place number 10 for video ideas is the vidIQ most viewed tab, which you can get access to by installing the vidIQ extension. Here's how to use it. So once you install the vidIQ extension, if you go to the left-hand side of YouTube, open this up right here and then click the most viewed tab right here. This is going to allow you to find so many amazing video ideas that are getting a ton of views right now that are potentially even uploaded by small channels. And let me show you exactly how to use it. For example, if we searched crypto right here directly on this most viewed tab, what we can do is sort it by the videos that have gotten the most amount of views uploaded in the past six months. And not only this, but we can also filter it by country. So for example, if you're uploading videos in different languages, like I do, I upload videos in English, Spanish, and tons of other languages. So you can sort it by that if you want. But what's really cool about this is that you can actually go in here and select channel subscribers from one to 10,000. And what this is going to do is show you smaller channels that are still getting a ton of views. Now, some of these will be advertisements. For example, this top one and this one right here are likely to be ads. But videos like this, how to double your crypto for free, which was uploaded six months ago, 
by a channel with only 2,000 subscribers, which got 100,000 views. So this could potentially be a great video idea for your channel. And I would definitely recommend utilizing this tool right here to get tons of video ideas for your channel. Number 11 is vidIQ trend alerts. Since we're on the topic of vidIQ and we have this opened already, all we have to do is go to the left hand side and go right here to trend alerts. Now what you can actually do is create a trend alert for a specific keyword that you want to get alerted of when videos start taking off in this niche to show you trends in this niche. For example, if you're in the cryptocurrency niche, there's probably new coins popping up all the time. So what you can actually do is put in crypto right here. You can show some advanced options. For example, how many views per hour a video must have before triggering this alert. What I'd recommend doing is maybe 1,000, 500 to 1,000. And then what you can do is also select category if you want. I wouldn't do that. I would just select the language. And then what I would recommend doing is selecting once a week to get a detailed emailed report of all the top videos that are hitting these statistics right now to get tons of video ideas. And then you can click save your alert. And when your alert gets sent to you, it's going to look exactly like this. These are all the videos right now that are getting very high views per hour related to the crypto niche. Place number 12, and this one is incredibly valuable and an amazing way to get video ideas is your YouTube analytics and specifically a couple analytics that I bet you didn't think of checking. The first of which being other channels and videos that your audience watches. And in order to get to here, you go to your analytics and your creator studio and then click the audience tab right here. From here, if you scroll down, you can see other channels your audience watches. You can definitely go to all these channels, recreate their top videos in your own way. And then further scrolling down, you can see other videos that your audience watched as well. These are great video ideas because it shows that your specific audience is already interested in these topics. If your channel is currently very small, you might not have these popping up yet, but focus on growing your channels with the initial video ideas that I just showed you in this video. And then once your channel grows, you can utilize this amazing feature to get tons of video ideas for your channel. And another way to find amazing video ideas for your channel that's incredibly underlooked, and I don't think anybody really thinks of doing this, is by going to the key moments for audience retention section under the engagement tab in your analytics. So if you click the engagement tab and scroll down, you can see key moments for audience retention on your latest videos. For example, it'll show you above typical intros that keep people's attention, the top moments in your videos, spikes where people watch more so in a video than other places, and dips where a lot of people click off your videos. So for example, if we click spikes right here, as you can see, there's several moments in this specific video where people are watching more. Now, how can you use these points to your advantage for video ideas? Well, the way that I would recommend doing it is going to these specific spikes and then asking yourself, could the topic that I'm talking about right at this moment, when more people wanna watch and rewatch at this moment, could I make this specific topic into its own video? And here's how I've practically implemented this on my own top 10 channels. So for example, I run channels where I do countdown lists on different subjects. And the way that I've used this, and you can use this too, is to go into a specific object that I talked about on the video that I saw people really showed a ton of interest in, and then ask myself, could I make a top 10 list just on this specific object of different objects like it? For example, if you have a top 10 technology video talking about the top 10 futuristic transport technology, and when you talked about this electric bike, people watched way more at that point, ask yourself, could you potentially make a top 10 electric bike video? And there's a video idea right there. And then another way to use your YouTube analytics is to go to your traffic sources and then go to your search results and see what people are searching for to find your videos. And all of these different search queries could be great video ideas. And also by going into the suggested video results, you can see what videos are suggesting people to your videos to watch next. And then you can recreate all of these videos in your own way, getting you a ton of more video ideas. So now that you know how to get unlimited video ideas for your channel, it's time you start making money with your channel and really doing every single part of this process in order to make money on YouTube potentially without even having to make videos if you pay other people to do so for you. And I actually created a video for you right here that's going to show you step-by-step step exactly how I make money on YouTube without making videos. So if you wanna check it out, click this video right here, check it out, hope you get a ton of value from it, and I'll see you there.